It's been a while since I uploaded anything to YouTube. The last few videos I did were well over a year ago, and since then I haven't provided an explanation for what the hell happened to me. I've been needing to address the current state of my channel for quite a while, but never got around to it until now, as I'm just starting to work on making content again. For those of you who are familiar with the channel, you probably know me for my Titanfall content, especially for my discussions about Titanfall 3. But as we are over a month into 2024, I wanted to work on a sort of retrospective, taking a look at the history of my channel and providing some insights on what I might be working on next. When I first created my channel, I planned to make Titanfall content exclusively. I've been playing since the original Titanfall released in 2014 on the old Xbox One, and since then I have always been anxious to see how this franchise would continue to develop. Despite its many flaws, it showed a lot of promise thanks to its core gameplay, and initially I thought it would expand into a massive IP, something similar to the Bungie era of Halo games. And eventually, we would see this game receive a sequel in the form of Titanfall 2, and it was amazing. It had delivered on everything that I hoped for. And eventually, the franchise would receive more recognition and popularity, but it still had yet to reach that point I expected it to. Still, this was a franchise I had a lot of faith in, and I wasn't ready to see it end after just two games. So I made this channel mainly to voice my enthusiasm for Titanfall, and get more people excited about the possibility of a third game. This was a franchise that I had a special connection with, and when rumours of a Titanfall 3 being in development started to spread, it had a lot of people speculating. And even though many people like myself were excited about the possibility, the topic generated a surprisingly large amount of negativity as many fans started to express their concerns for the franchise ever since the release of the notorious Apex Legends. And after the DDoS attacks on Titanfall servers, the topic of Titanfall 3 and Respawn Entertainment has become contentious to say the least. In regards to this topic, I don't believe many people's opinions have changed, as for the most part, the community is still divided. Many want to support Titanfall 3, but there are also a lot of people worried about this game being ruined and would rather not risk being disappointed, and I completely understand why. Respawn hasn't had the best track record recently, being unfaithful to Titanfall and refusing to solve a major crisis until many years later. Although things have gotten a little better, with the updates to Titanfall 2 largely fixing many of the connection issues, the concerns for Respawn remain that they may do Titanfall 3 dirty. There seems to be two sides to the argument, you either trust Respawn or you don't, but I think it might actually be a little more complicated than that. When I caught light of all this controversy, it had me very compelled to start making videos. I thought it could lead to an interesting discussion about the design of Titanfall 3, hoping to see what kind of things people expected from a sequel. How would the community respond to these kinds of videos? At the time, I didn't see many channels attempt this level of speculation about Titanfall 3, despite the massive discourse it was causing in the community. And so I said, what the hell? Given my history with the franchise, I thought I could provide a unique insight, and could even suggest some of my own personal thoughts on how to make Titanfall 3. I ended up posting a series of videos, and even started a podcast with the person I met in one of my comment sections. In the end, much of my content varied, but was almost always Titanfall focused, from discussions, theories, to even tackling some of the controversy surrounding the game. And I think the biggest revelation I had was realising that the controversy wasn't so much directed at the idea of a third game, but rather at the thought of it being made by Respawn Entertainment after the tragedy that unfolded over the last few years. But conceptually, Titanfall 3 offers an experience that can't be provided by anything else, and I not only think it's a brilliant idea, but also necessary for the franchise to stay relevant and grow. A return to the classic Titanfall formula opens up a lot of possibilities, not just delivering improvements to the gameplay, but evolving it. I'll be the first to say that Titanfall 2 leaves a lot to be desired, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was a product of its time, and Titanfall 2 was and still is great, but as the industry continues to shift, we are given a chance to look back and see new ways on how we can improve what came before. In regards to Titanfall, there is still so much we can explore in this universe. We have been given a new way to look at it, seeing how everything fits together in between the events of Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends, 
and I think there is a lot of room to tell a compelling and satisfying story in that time. It can be done, but whether or not it will be handled with love and care is what's got everyone so hesitant and even resentful. Don't think for a second that I don't understand where people's frustrations are coming from. I do. I was one of those people. But despite any disdain I might have towards Respawn, I will claim that Timefall 3 is necessary, and I will continue to believe because I have a stupidly large amount of faith in Titanfall 3. I might be called naive for thinking this, but I really don't care. I know it can be bad. I know it can be utterly terrible. It could be so downright abhorrent that we would never want to speak its name again. But underneath all this fear, there is a community that genuinely loves this franchise and wants to see it return. That's why I think we should be coming together as a community. This was another incentive for my channel. I wanted to provide a place where we could share our experiences with this game and understand why it was so special. That way we can know for sure what Titanfall 3 needs to be successful. If we start giving up hope, then we lose an opportunity to see Titanfall reach its full potential, and I'm not willing to let that happen. Judging by the views and comments left on many of my videos, a lot of you feel the same way. I really didn't expect that kind of reaction when I first started making videos, but to see that I was able to resonate with so many people, I was extraordinarily grateful. It made me glad to be part of this community. And to all of you who chose to support me, to know that others, even just a few of you, enjoyed what I had to say means the world. So I want to say thank you, because knowing that I have an effect on people is the reason why I keep doing this. But I still haven't tackled much of what I wanted to explore with Titanfall. I did have more prepared for my channel, like analysing Titanfall's combat and pitching for a potential campaign. But as time passed, I found it harder and harder to allocate time to my YouTube channel, and this leads into why I haven't uploaded in over a year. To start, I never gave myself an upload schedule, or a time frame to work within, because I knew it would only pressure me into making my content, and I didn't want that. I only updated when I was particularly motivated, but eventually I just stopped altogether. And the main reason for that was trying to schedule time to record in between all my studies. But I still regret not being able to show this channel much attention over the last year. There were times when I wanted to upload something. I had stuff planned for Titanfall 2's anniversary and comments prepared about the many sudden updates the game received, but I was never able to finish those videos and now I just think it's time to move on. As we are just over a month into 2024, I have some more ambitious videos planned. I still want Titanfall to be my main focus, because it's not only the grounds on which I built my channel, but it's also the content I love making the most. Nevertheless, I do want to attempt to grow my channel, and try and reach out to a broader audience. Now that I got more time on my hands, I should be more organised and will start working almost as soon as this video goes live. I'm aiming to publish a video every other week and will work on maintaining this consistency. I'm not entirely sure what kind of videos I'll be making in the future. Aside from the regular Titanfall content, I might upload some more long-form videos, gameplay and theories about some of Titanfall's more obscure lore. I might even start recommending some other games I know and love, because it's not just Titanfall. A lot of what I play actually lies in the indie market. Games from small teams of developers feel more personal and really allow you to appreciate the talent of someone. So who knows? Maybe I'll look at showcasing a few of them here on this channel. I'll also look at doing more podcast episodes, live streams, and community updates to make sure you guys are informed. Also, feel free to join the Discord, as it's where I post all of my announcements first for any new videos or channel updates. I'm active regularly and will look at hosting community events real soon right in the server. So if you feel like catching up, sharing something, or joining us for one of these events, check the description for more details and hopefully I'll see some of you real soon. I really want to know what you guys think. What kind of videos are you interested in the most? If you have any games you'd like to suggest, then send them my way and I'll take a look. I'm really hoping to grow my channel, so any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Feel free to comment on this video, or even better, join the Discord. In the meantime, I will continue to work on my scheduled Titanfall videos, as at the moment I'm doing my first theory video, and I think if you like Titanfall, you'll enjoy what I have cooking. 
Hopefully it will be done soon as I do want to adhere to this new upload schedule with a new major video every other week. To end this video I want to say thank you again for all the support you have shown me. It really does mean a lot to me that I even have such dedicated followers. You really are the reason why I started thinking about my channel again as I don't want to let you guys down. I'm hoping this will be the start of a new chapter and I'm looking forward to all of you being alongside me. If you're new here and liked what I had to say, then maybe consider subscribing. You would really be doing me a solid after all, and if I'm able to start monetizing my videos, you will definitely be seeing more of me. Now with that said, I hope you all have a good day, and until next time, this is Agent Mav, signing off.